Allowed, sometimes raucous scene today as a congressional delegation visited migrant children detained in a now notorious facility in Clint, Texas. Over the shouts of the president's Democratic members of Congress detailed what uh, detainees say they endured daily. When we went into the cell, it was, it was clear that the water was not running. There was a toilet, but there was no running water for people to drink. In fact, one of the women said that she was told by an agent to drink water out of the toilet. Well, New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was part of the delegation. After visiting another facility earlier in the day, she tweeted this, quote, it's not just the kids, it's everyone, people drinking out of toilets, officers laughing in front of members of Congress. I brought it up to their superiors. They said officers are under stress and act out sometimes. No accountability, unquote. Protesters on both sides of the issue were also there. Most of the Democrats ignored the pro-Trump contingent that you heard people yelling. Not so for Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who basically told them, bring it on. Well, also today, ProPublica uh, published a shocking story about a secret invitation-only Facebook group, which has about 9,500 members, including an unknown number of current and former Border Patrol agents. Users have made numerous racist, misogynistic, anti-gay, bigoted comments and jokes, including vulgar comments about migrant deaths, including the deaths of children, and discuss throwing burritos at Latino members of Congress who come to visit border facilities. They also shared a vulgar post about today's visit and an extremely graphic one involving Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez being sexually assaulted by President Trump. A short time ago, or earlier, or a short time earlier today, I spoke to A.C. Thompson, the ProPublica reporter and PBS Frontline correspondent who wrote that story. A.C., there are thousands of people, I understand, on this, this Facebook list. Do you have any sense of how many of them are current Border Patrol uh, agents or former Border Patrol agents, and, uh, and how many are actually participating in the, the really disgusting stuff that, that you've written about? Yeah, it's a great question. We honestly cannot say how many of these people are current Border Patrol, how many are former. Uh, we think there may be some members of the public in there as well. But what we know is that it's a closed secret group that you had to be invited into by somebody who was in the Border Patrol or another uh, Customs and Border Protection unit, and that the people are all discussing the work of Customs and Border Protection. It, it also seemed like People put an awful lot of time into creating, uh, you know, mocked, uh, photoshopped uh, pictures that were obscene. You know, there was the post in in, in the article that you mentioned uh, about about the uh, the father and and daughter whose bodies uh, who drowned trying to cross the Rio Grande. And the post attached that picture, and it reads, "Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ask: Have you all ever seen floaters this clean? I'm not trying to be an ass, but I've never seen floaters like this." Could this be another edited photo? We've all seen the Dems and liberal parties do some pretty sick things. What was the response within this group to someone posting, you know, this about a, a dead father and his dead child, uh, calling them floaters, suggesting that this is some sort of plot by Democrats? You know, what we saw in the messages that we've obtained is repeatedly uh, members of this group dehumanizing migrants and dehumanizing migrants who have died in different cases. So we've seen uh, different comments where people are saying, you know, uh, basically very disparaging things about migrants who've died or migrants, uh, for example, were about to publish a story uh, where there is uh, a man trying to ferry his uh, son across the river in a plastic bag. Uh, this is a photo that's in one of the posts. And um, one of the people who comments on it says, oh, well, at least he's already in a trash bag, suggesting that the child is trash. So that's the kind of stuff that we see in those uh, posts. In addition to the post that we mentioned earlier about the visit to the detention center by members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, I understand there were other posts about that visit. Um, what did they say? Yeah, there's posts about the visit that, that are saying, um, you know, really disparaging things about uh, Representative uh, Ocasio-Cortez, there are things in there saying, hey, we should start a GoFundMe campaign for somebody to throw a burrito at these uh, women using an expletive. 
There's somebody using more vulgar uh, terms to describe women who we believe is a Border Patrol supervisor. So there's all that kind of discussion. You know, interestingly, also, there's, though, there's a thread where people are saying, hey, I wonder if they're going to clean up this facility and basically spit shine it like they did at some of these other facilities before cameras came in and give a fake view of what's going on. So that was also articulated in the posts. Wow. The, I mean, the Border Patrol has a big problem with recruiting people, retaining people. Um, the, it, it's incredible to me that whoever, you know, there's 9,500 people in this in, invite-only Facebook list. The, the idea that they thought this ultimately would not become public is kind of stunning to me. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, look, we all know that there's lots of totally upstanding members of the Border Patrol and, and all other law enforcement agencies. But it is concerning that you have a group that big and there's that kind of vulgar stuff being passed around on it and that nobody says to management, as far as we can tell, hey, this is outrageous. This is total misconduct, even if it's happening off of uh, work time and something should be done about it. And, and you've reached out, obviously, to Customs and Border, uh, border, border Control for, for comment. What have they said? Yeah, so what we what we heard from them today is um, that they are opening an investigation into uh, this matter. What they've told us is that this type of behavior online breaches their code of conduct, that they have referred this matter to the, the uh, Homeland Security Inspector General. But Anderson, I should also say, uh, after we contacted them, we got more images from this group, uh, and these were particularly homophobic images, and actually some of them involve people disparaging you. Wow. Uh, well, it's, uh, I guess it's not that an elite club, if, if, I'm, uh, if I'm part of that as well. Um, A.C. Thompson, incredible reporting. Thank you so much. Thank you.